A wise Iron Man once said, part of the journey is the end, and no truer words have ever been spoken. No matter what, everything eventually ends. And in many cases, that ending comes in the form of death. Death is the final chapter of every book. Death is the last word whispered at the end of every song. There is no avoiding it, just accepting it. So what happens when you take a character who doesn't just laugh at death, but rejects the very concept of death, insulting its mere existence? What makes Puss in Boots The Last Wish work so well isn't just its smooth, beautiful animation, its snappy and witty dialogue, or the fact that it's set in the Shrek universe, one of the most popular franchises to ever exist in the West. What makes the film work so well is simply its protagonist, Puss in Boots, and its antagonist. Death. Don't get me wrong. Jackie boy over there, no, no, not, not that Jackie boy. He is definitely the villain of the film. He is the big bad, but death, death is a true antagonist of the film. The best stories are the ones that revolve around the protagonist's trials and hardships, their journey to overcome the antagonist. And the best antagonists are the ones that challenge the protagonist, not just physically, but idealistically, mentally, internally. This is Darth Vader's corruption to Luke Skywalker's determination. This is the Green Goblin's power to Spider-Man's responsibility. This is Netflix and the medium of animation. Why are we still here? Why are we still here? Why are we still here? This is Joker's insanity to Batman's justice. It's an immovable object versus an unstoppable force. But in the end, someone has to lose. And what makes Puss in Boots The Last Wish even more unique is that it's not the antagonist of the film who loses. It's Puss, the protagonist. Throughout the film, Puss is insulting death. At the beginning verbally, literally laughing in Death's face. Later in the film, Puss is insulting Death by trying to get himself more lives. Something that literally and explicitly goes against nature itself. And we see in the film, the more lives Puss has, the less he cares about Death. But to not care about Death is to not value life. Boozing Boots laughs in the face of Death, right? I find the very idea of nine lives absurd, and you didn't value any of them. Puss never valued anything in the ways he should have, because for him, death didn't matter. He could die again and again, lose people, betray people, not appreciate them, and none of it mattered, because to Puss in Boots, he could always come back always do it again. It's through death, the permanent end, the final goodbye, that we realize how important life is, how valued it is. Death's goal is not to kill Puss. His goal is to make him see the value of life by respecting death, not laughing at it, not fearing it, but understanding that death is beautiful because it means we had something to lose, because it means we were alive in the first place. Puss grows to appreciate his own life, the life that he shares with the ones he cares about, and it's through this value he accepts that death will eventually come for him, that death will eventually come for everyone, and it's why life is valuable. Despite Puss being the hero, it is the antagonist death who is right. It is death that ends up changing the protagonist, because in the end, death always wins. You know we will meet again, right? Si, sí. hasta la muerte.
Hey everyone, thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, if you hated it, if you thought it was too short, if you thought it was too long, how the fuck did you think that was too long? Whatever your feelings, thoughts, concerns, dinner, lunch, breakfast, tell me in the comments below. And while you're there, drop a like, drop a subscribe, drop a notification bell. Thank you to my YouTube and Patreon members. Thank you to these names in particular, Molly, Steffi, Rhea, M. Jason, the Cloney Boy, Frank the FBI agent who watches my internet search history and just got me swatted for making a joke. No matter what time you're watching this, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Did I say good night again? I have no idea. I'm really losing my mind lately. It's the depression. I'm just gonna go cry into a pillow. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna go cry into a pillow. I'm gonna go to the gym. Am I going to the gym? I have no idea. I should probably actually get to work on the next video. Wait, am I still recording? Ah, f Anyway, you guys have a great day. Thank you for the views. Thank you for the comments. And I will see you next time. Okay, I'm turning this thing off. They're gonna think I'm crazy. I'm still recording, goddammit.